Hello Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are back for some more Pokemon Platinum Cute Charm. And today we are going to continue our hunts inside of... Where's the bike? Where the heck's the bike? Here it is. We're going to continue our hunts inside of... Um, hold on. There we go. I was hitting um, select, just hoping that would work. Uh, inside of Victory Road. There. I can finish my sentences. I am a special person. I know how to speak. So... Uh, last time we were in here, we were able to nab one of the really freaking rare 5% Gabites, which is awesome. But we need a second one. So that's the first thing we need today. It is 5% that's going to be a really big deal. But, hey, we're gonna try. So we're gonna do our best to try and find a 5% uh, Johnny back Gabite out of this episode. Aside from that, we also need a 15% Shiny Rhydon. No, I'm sorry, not Rhydon. Um, Gullbat. Who should actually be 15% this time. If the time is set correctly on my game, it should be night time now? But still, either way. Um, that's how that's gonna go down. You know, it might actually be helpful to us to go to a different floor at this point, because we don't need Rhydon. Rhydon's not on the other floors. Though, um, Gabai, I think, is 5% everywhere. I'm not entirely possible. I'm not entirely sure if it's possible. Um, so, glancing around, um, yeah, it's not like it's really better, though um, it could be beneficial to us to just start hunting down in the area where uh, we will actually be finding um, the Azumarill, because actually, yeah, it makes no sense to be hunting up here. We really do want to be down there now, because... We don't need the Rhydon, we want the 30% Azumarill, the 5% Gabite, and whatever chance it is for Galbat. So for that we need to get to a basement floor one. Never mind, I'm not even in the right place. Um, I wonder if I can get there without- ooh. There's a stairs right over there, so I know where I'm going. But either way, it's still good to be out, um, getting encounters here, because we are still getting chances at Gabite Galbat. Um, the thing is, we're just not getting any chances at Azumarill, who we're also going to need, and these guys have the same odds down a floor. So, um, I want to make sure... Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't run into a trainer, for sure, that's one thing, because if I do, magic's kind in trouble. Um, so, I really don't want magic to level up. That would suck a lot. Um, I think down on those lower floors... Oh, no! We need to go down a floor, and then float souls are going to be everywhere. That's gonna make me so upset. What happened? I'm. Um, oh, I thought so. I'm gonna have to fight a few trainers to get down there. Um, so at the very least, because I expect. I mean, it's Victory Road. They're gonna fight me every step of the way. But I'm gonna start the montage early, so that I'm able to uh, battle my way down there. Hopefully, um, everything works out and we're good to go. But either way. I am just going to start the fights and see you guys when we get down to the basement and we can actually start this shiny hunt. Or, I guess, in other words, when we get lucky. Alright, now we're finally here and now it's actually time to shiny hunt. Unfortunately, um, this area down here stinks <laughs> and uh, there's not a lot of room and it's... This is why it stinks, because it has shiny float souls in it and I hate float soul. Everyone's entitled to hate one Pokemon for absolutely no reason. Mine's Floatzel, okay? I just hate Floatzel. No. So Floatzels are in here at 30% chance. Yes! Ooh! That could be our shiny Gullbat, or Crobat. Of course it's a Gullbat already, but that could be our shiny Crobat. Problem is... Man, that was two encounters. That was awesome. Um, problem is I have to be able to get it in a luxury ball for that to happen. Um, well... In reality like for me to actually get it uh, maxed in its happiness because I've had to make so many crowbats um didn't we make crowbat like I thought we did but did we not make did we make crowbat in this game like I made crowbat in heart gold Q charm I know did I make one in platinum Q charm I honestly don't remember um, like, I was in here like, oh, we're gonna get a gold bed, we're gonna do this with it, but, um... It's a big deal because I- and they have inner focus, so I can't use the fake-out trick. Um... 
I can't check my Pokedex, I'm in a battle! Um, the reason, uh, yeah, it has inner focus, so I can't use that trick. Though if I switched over to somebody else, I could do a lot of damage with it. Uh... Ah, it's, it's just... You guys are saying no, I didn't. Um, so I'm gonna trust you guys on that. I'm gonna switch over to... How about Coconut, who can slowly bite this thing down? You caught the underleveled Golbat in Orberg Gate. Uh, yes, I did, but... Ah, uh, nice. Okay, please don't poison me. Thank you. Um... I, I could hit it with Poison Jab, because it'll resist it. And then I'll bite my way down. I might accidentally... No, I don't think I could poison it, could I? Poison Fang. Critical hit. Not very effective. Okay. Let's do another Poison Jab. Okay, that would actually be perfect if I hit it with one more of those. I think it would withstand it. I think so. If not, I mean, it's 15%. I could probably find another... Yes, perfect! Perfect! Poison Fang. All right, now, just stop doing that, Golbat! Bag. Um, let's see. Pokeballs, what do we have in here? We need to throw the Luxury Balls. I don't have anything to give it a status ailment while we're in here, because it's hard enough to get into Victory Road and fight around, so let's go. Please, Golbat, come on. One. Two. Three! Dang it! No! It was so close. It's a capture rate of 90, if I did not say that yet. Me, look. Now you can no longer escape my live stream. <laughs> and then, uh, like, 40 people leave to test it. <laughs> I swear it'll probably work. One, two, three! Yes! Shiny Golbats! Crobats. Because, um, I don't know how much... Uh, friendly happiness you get when, um, you, uh, uh, catch someone in a luxury ball. I don't know if they're just ready to go, uh, like max happiness, or if they still need some work and massages and haircuts and all that good stuff. Uh, but either way, we caught our shiny Crobat, and, uh, it's not a Crobat yet. We obviously need to evolve that and deal with that later, but for now, would you like to give a nickname to the caught Golbat? Yes. Batgirl was transferred to Box 1 in Bebe's PC. Not a name I would have picked. But the internet, like, really, really wanted to do that, so... I guess it's cool. It's like a Batman, Batwoman kind of thing. Except, if you just look at it, you're like, It's a bat. It's female. Batgirl. Maybe our next shiny today needs to be called, like, Muffins. Uh, we probably have a muffin, but... You know what I'm talking about. Septic Tank. Ooh, yes! Azumarill! <laughs> shiny Azumarill! Are you Septic Tank? I mean, it's water type, right? And it's yellow for some reason. <laughs> That's perfect! That is perfect! You are septic tank! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to catch my septic tank! Let's switch over to Big Mom and catch ourselves a septic tank. Yes! Now out of here. We're getting our shinies back to back to back down in this place. We're getting so much more. It's awesome. Great, the sucker knows double edge. We gotta keep that in mind. So it's capture rate is 75, that's pretty good for us. Got it with a fake out, and at level 41, Azumarill is going to know Rain Dance, Double Edge, Aqua Ring, and Bubble Beam. So, um, maybe, um, maybe? <laughs> Everyone's like Septic Tank. Yes, dear lord, it is so yellow. They made darn sure you wouldn't miss Shiny Azumarill. Um, Really scared about what to hit it with here. How about a crunch? That may be the weakest move. Um, these things are super defensive, so I'm... Yeah, expecting it to be able to stand that. Its defense did just fall, and it's hitting itself with um, double edges, so I'm not going to test this anymore. Instead, I'm going to go over to Pokeballs. We have a ton of these left. Let's go for it. I really want to catch it before it starts pulling out, like, a uh, Aqua Ring and Rain Dance, and that really could be problematic. Like, it could rain dance, bubble beams, and... Oh, here comes that rain dance. Bag. Pokeball, please. It's a catch rate 90. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I know some of you guys are yelling for the netball. We don't need it that badly. We have so much more really hard water Pokemon to catch later in the game. This is not a huge priority. Plus, it's weakening itself. Which is actually a bad thing. But it does know Aqua Ring. It's going to maybe do that before it just dies? I don't know. Please, Septic Tank! One. Please. Please. I didn't want to be caught. Double Edge. It's trying to... It's trying to kill itself. And I'm surprised it's not catching. Granted, I am using regular Pokeballs, but I have, like, 
See, the way I see it is, like, uh, the Pokeball is so much cheaper than, like, a Great Ball or any of the other ones. Yes. That it makes more sense to buy more Pokeballs. Quantity beats the quality. Because if one Great Ball pops, that was the same as, like, what? Three Pokeballs popping open. And an Ultra Ball is, like, uh, like, twice that. So it's ridiculous. It can spend all day in water since it can inhale and store a large volume of air. Um... <laughs> okay, sure. I was gonna say, well, depending on how much air it stores, it wouldn't be able to stay underwater, but... Who cares? You are my Aqua Rabbit Septic Tank. I'm so glad. Like, I am- I wanted to learn Muddy Water. Can it learn Muddy Water? Or, like, um... Oh, what's a really gross, um, septic tank attack? Scald? No, um... I don't know. I don't know what it could do. We need some really gross moves that septic tanks need to know. But either way, give a nickname to the Katazumril. Why, of course. Septic tank was transferred to box one in Baby's PC. Yay! Mud sport? Ooh, that's disgusting. That's a good disgusting one. Mud sport. Oh, and it's back. You know what, um, I'm at least happy that the shiny rate down here is much better than in the last episode. If you guys remember last episode when we were up a little higher? Mm-mm-mm. Bad, 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 bad. It was all kinds of bad. I do need to heal my Pokemon up a little bit when time comes to keep progressing through here because we do need to survive and, uh, actually get all the way through. And the problem is I need, um, magic takes up one slot of my party for use of Q-Charm and aside from that I have, um... Waves down at the bottom, who is use my Quagsire, who is uh, basically a ton of water HMs, and I have Munchlax, who aside from being other HMs, is uh, in training to become our mighty Snorlax. I don't know how much it likes us yet, but um, there's that. Uh, so, anyway, now we are in it for the long haul today. There's finally a normal Azumarill. Those things are like so much of a color change, it's awesome. So, um, we have a really, really big hunt right now, and I'm scared I'm gonna, like, bike my way up the stairs in the time it takes for me to get to this one, because, um, I never really finished explaining what the chances are down here, because everything did change. Um, we have a 30% chance of a Zoomerill, which is why we're seeing so many. We have a 30% chance of Float Soul, which stinks. Um, we have a, uh, depending on it being night time or, uh... Uh, daytime, which I'm not positive what it is right now. It's kind of in that iffy time. I think we just crossed over tonight. Gallbats are 15%. Um, and, uh, as a, basically they switch places with Graveler. Um, Graveler becomes 5% or vice versa, whether it's day or night. Um, on top of that, we also have Onyxes in here, which are 10%, and Steelixes, also 5%. We don't want none of them. None of them! We just want the 5% Gabite! We got one last time! It was risky, uh, but we did end up capturing it, and we need to capture one more so we can finally determine which one of the two is the better one, and it's going to turn into our Garchomp. I may or may not raise it for the team, I'm probably not going to just because of how much time it's gonna take to go into it, but I gotta make it evolve anyway, so even still there's all of that to take into account. And we gotta find that sucker before we're allowed to leave this place. So, at the very least, until then, let's strap in for the long haul, and I will see you guys when we get lucky. I have a dog like that too, she's, well we know how old she is though, but she was clearly not taken well care of while she was at the uh, 
original trainers, or the people who bred her. Yes! Finally! Finally, Shiny Gabite! Are you- Finally! Oh my god, that has been, um... That has been almost an hour and a half just looking for this one Gabite. This one Gabite took an hour and a half. We found, I don't know how many shiny 5% Steelixes. I don't know how many 5% shiny Gravelers. Oh my god. Quick ball. Just quick ball. Now, please. Oh my god, that was horrible. That was horrible. Dang it, and it popped out. It has a 45 catch rate. This is not going to be good. But I will not fail this thing. It took way too long to find it. Um, Magic, unfortunately, is trapped in a sand tomb. That is not good. I'm going to use Strength. Burrowed underground. Great. It's going to kill me in this next turn. Sand tomb. Gabout use Dig. And... Magic is out. Okay, so um, with Magic down... I'm gonna switch over for, um... What's the safest thing to do? Uh... What is the safest thing to do here? Dragon and... Ground. Um... I don't have, uh... Oh, I don't really... Mm. I could... Big Mama? Shift? Um... Oh, I don't feel safe with this. I'm just gonna throw like a million Pokeballs and eventually catch this. At level 43, Gabite is gonna know Dig, Dragon Claw, Slash, and Sand Tomb. Big Mama first start us with a Fake Out. Please. How much does that do? Gabite flinched. Um. I can Crunch. Munch. I think that's what I did last time. Gabite's Defense Fell. I am not touching it again. It's Defense Fell. Ouch! Everything I know is wrong. Please, Gabite, I'm gonna Dusk Ball you. Stay in this ball. Don't you kill Big Mama. I gotta get out of this cave still. Please. One. Two. Three. Yes! 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you! Thank you, Gabite! And also, this one's on level 43. Which, um, is actually really cool because on the first level we were looking at, they could only be 41. Um, and I'm noticing, I didn't notice it at the time, but yeah, um, Gabites are only level 43 when you get them here. Which is actually really cool. I think it's the highest level Gabite you can find in the game. Um, which means this might be our shiny Garchomp because it's just a little bit closer to 48. Um, rare candy wise, I've got enough. Like, I could, boom, put it all the way up there, but... I'm not that bad. Plus, Gabite's a good enough Pokemon to fight on her own in order to get to that level 48. So, let's finally give a nickname to the Cod Gabite. Yes! Sharknado was transferred to Box 1 in Bebe's PC. Good lord. That was awful. Now, um, for the sake of me trying to get through the rest of this cave, uh, I'm saving, first off. Uh, for the sake of me getting through the rest of this cave, I'm gonna do my best to, uh, get there <laughs> quickly so I can film our next episode, which is going to be beating the Elite Four. Um, <laughs> <sighs> hopefully everything turns out okay in that, uh, and we're able to do it. But for now, at the very least, I'm gonna see you guys when we can get to the Pokemon Center, heal up, switch our team around, and we can take a look at the shinies that we captured this time. But for now, I'm gonna see you guys later. All right, guys, we're finally in the PC. We made it out of Victory Road. That was intense, but we made it, which means next episode, we are going to get to challenge the Elite Four, and we have some new Pokemon who will be evolving soon. So uh, maybe we'll do another episode um, at, right after that where we do some evolutions really quick before we start doing all sorts of crazy stuff because after beating this the game just explodes with how much we can do and it's gonna be amazing but before then we gotta take a look at the shinies that we did catch in this episode and that is Batgirl who is probably going to no not probably will become our Crobat uh, Crobat will be modest and strong willed and the ability is inner focus there where the moves Batgirl awesome after that, we got Sharknado. These may be rearranged. I don't really remember. We have uh, Lax, Loves to Eat. Yes, this was the second one we caught because this is level 43. Because it's 43, I'm probably going to want mine to be... Uh, this one to be the Garchomp. 
So hopefully the lax loves to eat sand bale is the ideal one. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, we'll keep moving on from here. So take a look at Jaws, who is lax, impetuous, and silly. All right, so it's very closely the same, and they both have sand bale. So uh, stats-wise, um, yeah, I'm kind of liking this top one anyway. So that's good. Uh, three levels, if that's all it takes. Sharknado, you're going to be the winner. Moving back from here, we have one more. Who was Septic Tank? Our first one we caught today. Septic Tank. Uh, is timid and often scatters things. <laughs> oh, I do not want a septic tank to often scatter things. That is awful. <laughs> oh, oh, and it's full of thick fat. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> but anyway, that is all the time we have for now. That is all our shinies. We're going to evolve these guys. We're going to work on that later. But for now, we are going to be heading on to the Elite Four. And we're going to be challenging them in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum Q-Charm. Booyah!